Joining us on the set here in New York City, James Woolsey, former chief of the CIA. Is that the correct title, sir? Director of Central Intelligence, but I'll answer it anyway. <laughs> Director of Central Intelligence sounds a whole lot better, does it not? Okay. Yes. You believe that this is a war, a flat-out war between yes. the West and Islam? No, yes? between the West and, as Judy Jasser said to you, uh, between the West and uh, Islamism. Uh, particularly uh, uh, radical uh, Islamism, we but not against all of Islam, absolutely not. But we don't think of it as a war at this point. We've we, not addressed that, have we? We have to come in from recess. Mm -hmm. uh, Playtime is over. Mm. We won the Cold War, great, it's fine. We had a very relaxing decade or so. We're now at war, and we have to admit it. It is simply an extraordinary amount of power that a few terrorists have gained. They've just shut down a major European capital. They've shut down Belgium, essentially, and it's not the first time they've done this. It's not a few terrorists. It's two totalitarian movements within Islam. Uh, one is Iran uh, and uh, their uh, various uh, proxies, uh, the, the Houthis in Oman and, and I mean, in uh, Yemen and so forth. Uh, they, they have uh, uh, Hezbollah. Uh, so one is them. The other is on the Sunni side of the, the ledger is uh, ISIS. And ISIS is not just a few terrorists. ISIS sees itself as a state, a growing state, a caliphate, a religious, theocratic, totalitarian empire in the Middle East. It's not a very big empire yet, but it has great ambitions. And that's the thing that attracts some young men, particularly, uh, to it within Islam. Now, all of the candidates for the presidency have made statements this morning, including Ted Cruz, who spoke publicly about 10, 15 minutes ago. He th seemed to throw the blame for this uh, on President Obama. Is he being fair? Well, I've, uh, I've been fairly critical myself of President okay. Obama's policies uh, uh, on a lot of these matters. And uh, I, uh, I think that uh, he has uh, uh, tried to basically shunt the conflict and the notion of conflict aside. It's bad news. It doesn't fit with what they call the narrative. Uh, the narrative is everything is fine. And so it's very difficult for him and uh, a lot of his people to uh, talk beyond political correctness, uh, to discuss these issues clearly and ob objectively. Uh, you can't fight effectively against something you can't talk about. But is he, I mean, he's, got, he's going to speak from Cuba, literally in a couple of minutes' time. Well. We're going to take our viewers there to show our viewers what he is saying. I don't know what he's going to say. Do, do you think he might use the expression Islamic terror? Well, uh, I doubt it. Uh, the spirit of the Castro brothers uh, is the spirit of Islamist uh, uh, terrorism and imperialism. They're both totalitarian movements, just from somewhat different traditions. Uh, Marxism, Leninism, uh, as uh, in Cuba, uh, is a Western invention, and it's not a religious totalitarianism. But the religious totalitarianism of uh, Islamism uh, is uh, uh, from a different totalitarian <clears throat> tradition, but they're both totalitarian. The, the optics, as they say, are just awful. The President of the United States shaking hands with a communist dictator to cement his legacy of opening up Cuba at precisely the same moment that terror strikes Europe again, and his legacy of terror is shining rather clearly. The I, optics are awful. I agree with that, but I rather imagine the White House uh, press office will find some way to spin this uh, <laughs> to uh, uh, try to make it uh, look as if it's all part of a happy narrative. What do you make of Trump? Well, uh, I, I, he's a very strong-willed individual with, uh, with uh, uh, often, I think, rather simple uh, solutions to things. I liked uh, very much what Peter King said just uh, before the break. Uh, 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 it's not a bad idea to put up some barriers, but you have to do it intelligently. Uh, our whole immigration system is kind of fouled up because years ago we decided to emphasize kinship in letting other people in, brothers-in-law and so forth, rather than competence uh, being, let's say, a, a Silicon Valley uh, uh, engineer. And uh, that uh, decision has uh, produced a situation where if you get one uh, individual here, uh, he may well be able to bring in a number of children, nephews, et cetera, over time. 
uh, and even if he's you know not making an extremely important contribution to the country or its economics and uh, uh, that whole thing creates a serious problem but it, I don't think the solution to that is to ban all Muslims from coming into the United States. There are some wonderful Muslims. Uh, Zudi Jasser is a good example. Uh, and uh, well, it's probably also con unconstitutional to, to do that. He could bar everybody coming from Syria if he wants to, but it, that would not be wise. But, but at least it I would probably be constitutional. Uh, Mr. Um, uh, CIA. Whatever. Any, <laughs> Jim. Jim is fine. Uh, no, I can't do that. <laughs> you are the former director of the Central Intelligence Agency. <laughs> that, oh, that's a mark of respect. <laughs> we, we like you on the show. Thank James, you. thank you very much indeed, sir. Thank you. On the left hand side of your screen,